All right, so I'm going to continue with the uh, last video I did on uh, writing command scripts. I'm going to show you how to nest a command within another command, uh, which will, will allow you to manipulate multiple variables. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a command. I'm going to name it PRI, let's say, 2. All right, it's going to be repeat. I'm going to do two. So what I'm going to end up doing is looking at DTCI 7.0 and 7.1. And then I want it to shift gears and go to DTCI 8.0 and 8.1. All right, so repeat two. Trunk query PM DTCI. I'm going to put variables in here that haven't been identified yet. It's fine. I'm going to identify them in the upper level command. So B plus one, just like I did last time, equals B. Close that up. Alright, next I'm going to do another command. It's going to be PRI1. I'm going to set my variables right here. So, at 1, my first user input is going to equal A. At 2, it's going to equal B. I'm going to repeat this one twice as well. I'm going to run that, that command I just identified or just, just established, PRI2. I'm going to increment A plus 1, which is going to be my DTCI number. And then I'm going to reset B, since I've been incrementing it, I'm going to reset it back to the, the user input, the second user input. So, at 2, equals B. Let's be right back to the beginning where I started. Alright. So I'll go ahead and run this command. I'm going to run the primary, the, the upper level command, PRI1. I'm going to start with 7, 0. So 7071, now we've shifted gears and gone to 80 and 81. Alright, so just to scroll back so you can see that command set up again. The nested command PRI2 falls within PRI1. PRI1 establishes the variable values based on user input. So this is the command you would run and input your two variables, your values for your two var variables, which would repeat this nested command and increment variable B and then it will come back rerun the command but before it does it's going to say A plus 1 equals A so it's going to increment variable A and it's going to reset uh, variable B back to the user input that you put in to begin with and that concludes this video on how to set up a uh, command script thank you